Hoi there, it is I, Rainhead, your very unfriendly neighbourhood demon. I've recently started using Borodo, as you can see, and you should too. Whether you're a 3D VTuber or a 3D avatar creator, Borodo has an insane amount of features and customization to make what was once an extremely time consuming and limited process into a quick but not so much easy but worth every second of your time process. So in this video, let's get the basics down and out of both of our hair, we're starting with an FBX file and we usually go through the process of turning that into a VRM file or straight into VRChat. I have a tutorial for that here, but the .wordo file format is going to make both of our lives a lot smoother. Let's get the Unity Hub downloaded and also Wordo downloaded from Steam. Quick tip, check out the Wardo Docs website for when you get a little stuck and want some more information on this whole process. All of the links will be down in the description below. Okay, dokie, I'll be leaving a link to Wardo on the, on the Steam store in the description. You just go down, click download, it's free to use. And now for Unity, we'll be going to the unity.com slash download website, also down below. You can scroll down here, download whatever version of the Unity Hub it is that you need. Um, you'll probably get a, a, an installation wizard for the instructions on that. And then you will come back here after you downloaded to get the correct Unity version. Go to the download archive, I've already got it open here. And we are going to go to 2021. We're going to scroll all the way down to 2021.3.18 F1. We want this version. Just go to install. Install it. Okay, now your hub is going to be a lot more empty than my one. You're probably going to have to log in. It's fine. Gladly, we are lucky that we don't have to do anything too crazy. We are going to get this Wario modding project from the Wario Docs website. Make things way faster. So remember, all the links will be in the description on this website here. If we just scroll down a bit on the Unity and Wario SDK installation page, we will have access to this zip file here. So download it extract it to a folder that you want your Unity Wardo project to be in and um, add it using the add button in the Unity Hub. If you've unzipped the modding project that you get by default, you just go to add, add project from disk, find wherever you've put it and then add project. Now, since I already have one, I will show you what it looks like brand new and then we're going to go back to the one that I've been already using. Okay, so this is the default Wardo Unity project that you'll get. It has the settings, gladly you can use the VRM shaders that are in here, you can use some of the VRM settings that are in here, but I will show you what I do. Here we go, I have some things downloaded. I have Poyomi shaders, because I like them. I have Dynamic Bone, and I have Magicka Cloth too. I do intend to make some tutorials on those, but that will be in a separate video. Right now, we just want to get the model into order as quickly as possible. So let's head into Blender for a, a brief moment. Here we have a model. Um, there's a lot of meshes separate because uh, thanks to Wordo we can enable and disable them within the app. The armature is already set up, we just need to export it. So before we export, let's always do the Control A, apply all transformations. We're going to go to File, and export and we are going to go down to dot fbx so you're going to see this little uh, window pop up called the blender file view you are going to find whatever folder your unity project is or you can uh, save it in a separate folder and drag and drop it in but i'm just going to make this really quick for me so i'm going to go into my modding product i'm going to go to my assets and i'm going to go to rain 5 and the tutorial that we'll be doing today 
we're going to go to this over here, apply scalings, and we're going to click FBX or this should save you any problems with the blend shapes being slightly off. That's the only setting we need. We're going to save it and export FBX right here. All right, back to Unity. So a lot of the things that we're doing right now are going to be very similar to things that we've done before. I'm going to go through this as fast as I can. So this is the model that we imported. You can also just drag and drop from your file explorer straight into this, this panel here. Uh, it's just a folder in the assets folder. So we are going to go to model. We're going to click uh, legacy blend shape normals. We're going to click read slash write and apply. We're going to go to the rig. We're going to put it to humanoid and we're going to click apply. We're going to go to the materials. We're going to click over here location and use external materials and we're going to click apply. This should make a folder. As you can see here, there's a material folder. We're going to go back into rig configure. We want to make sure that all the bones are where they need to be. So uh, we need the chest. Just going to drag and drop it over here. Everything else is fine. We're going to go to the head. I'm going to remove the jawbone. I'm going to click on the jaw and hit delete to get rid of the jaw that's in here. Make sure you've clicked on it first though. Left hand and right hand is fine. Okay, so everything should be fine here. Um, there are some other settings that you can click on. So if it's not in the T-Pose, you can click on the Pose drop down menu and enforce T-Pose. The line is fine, so I'm just gonna apply. We can go to muscles and settings and do a very, very quick test. Of, of how it's moving, reset all done. Now this model that we have right here, this is all configured. We can just drag and drop it into your scene. We want to set up the materials. Okay, like I was saying earlier, we do have access to the VRM shaders. If you want to use those, you just need to make sure you put the right textures into where they need to be. I'm going to be using Pyomi for everything. We're going to have a folder for the textures. I'm going to create a folder, I'm going to name this textures and put everything you need in there. I already have some of the textures, so I'm just going to grab those. Okay, so I'm just going to set up the material like so. We just need the body texture. I'm going to lock this. I'm going to go to textures, put the body in here. And leave that as opaque and lock it. Just like that. As simple as that. This is the head. So I'm going to lock that. I'm going to go to VRM. M tune go back to textures put the head in there and that's it there there are more things you can do like outlines and stuff but I already kind of have a tutorial on this well I'm just gonna fill this in quickly and I'll be right back Now that I'm done that, for for Pyomi specifically, it's good to have it to lock the shaders once you're done with them. So I'm going to go into my material, material folder and lock all of these. You won't have to lock it if you're using VRM shaders, but I'm pretty sure you can use any shader that you want. Within reason. If you have a VRChat avatar, you can just throw it into here straight from your Unity folders. And it should be already set up, at least to this point. 
I'm going to duplicate this because um, there's a lot of ways this can go wrong. So I'm just going to control and D to duplicate. I'm just going to call this copy. I'm going to hide this and we're going to go into VRM zero and freeze T pose. We can hide the normalized for now, but do not delete it. Save of course. Okay, now I'm going to create a Wardo mod now. So I'm going to set a folder for it. Just click the button. And okay. And because the mesh is stinky, we're not going to do that. All right. We have a new mod folder. It's empty. Just called Wardo mod, whatever you want to call it. We're going to put our mods in there. We want to grab this character, um, duplicate it because maybe it'll go wrong. Let's do here VRM zero freeze T pose. Right. And now we have this normalized version and this version here, this version here that isn't normalized, doesn't have that bracket. So there we're going to duplicate this yet again. And we're going to hide that one. Okay, so now we have this and these should be hidden. Oh yes, hide the original two. Why not? I'm going to rename this just as two. Or let's just rename it mod. Okay. Now we should be able to go to Wordo new mod and we're going to save it as sure my new mod we're going to save it in the mod folder that we just made so for me it's here uh rain hat um wardo tutorial wardo mod that folder and sure my new mod create mod now we have this here we're going to go to the Wardo again up here and set up character. And we have the active mod is my new mod, which is good. And we want this here set up, select a game object as character mod. So click that. A success. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Everything is fine. A um, little annoying that I have to duplicate it twice, but it's fine as long as it works. No problem. Now that we have this character, we can go to Wardo yet again and build mod right here. Okay, so it's going to take you to a folder. You want to cut whatever the file was called. Cut it. And you want to go into your Wardo settings right here. I am going to go to character. Then I'm going to go to main properties and we're going to click this open characters folder. Now you should have cut the, the file that you just made and we're going to paste it in here. Okay. So let's choose that character instead. Just like that, just like that, uh, the, the shape keys are going to be there by default. Um, you do need to set them up as per usual. Uh, it's not going to have any dynamic movements like the hair and the wings. But we can set that up later as what, what's important right now is that you have a model in Wardo and it's working. There is a quick setup wizard in Wardo that you can go through. Um, I'm not going to go through that right now. I'm sure there's a thousand tutorials on it. Just follow the buttons, the recommendations as it go and you should be fine. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. How did the tutorial go? Was it too fast? Let me know in the comments below see you in the next one farewell farewell